So na- nakuha niya na yung files. Sa- na- nasa inyo na yung files. So ay hindi, yung isa pala yung files na binigay ko. So na next day natin yung gagamitin sa personal identification and uh, yung tatlong areas. Okay, so yan. So, of course, again, we have the law of individuality. So, meaning, pag sinabi natin law of individuality, so alam niyo naman that no things in the universe are alike. Ibig sabihin, uh, it may be similar, but it will never be identical. Katulad ng uh, fingerprint, okay? So, ang fingerprint natin, meron tayong tinatawag na law of individuality. Same as true with mga bullets, okay? Walang magkakaparehas na bullets, Uh, yung ating uh, handwriting or ating uh, writing. So, of course, walang pagkakaparehas sa class. Again, no things in the universe are alike or pagkakaparehas. So, that is the law of uh, individuality. Then, of course, number two then, we have the law of progressive change. And ang the law of progressive change, everything changes with the passage of time and nothing uh, remains uh, constant. So, ibig sabihin, as the time progresses. Meron na yung mga bagong uh, changes. Alam mo ba, sa polygraphy or sa lie detection techniques, mamaya, of course, malalaman ninyo yung mga bagong changes when it comes sa uh, polygraphy. So, ibig sabihin, uh, uh, there are changes. Okay? Uh, because, of course, uh, nothing is remain constant except change. Then, of course, uh, third, we have the Lockhart's uh, principle of exchange or yung tinatawag natin na Lockhart's Exchange Principle Class. Of course, ang uh, pag sinabi natin si uh, Edmund Lockhart, tanda ninyo, that la Edmund Lockhart is the uh, Sherlock Holmes of France. Again, ang tawag natin kay uh, Edmund Lockhart is the Sherlock Holmes of France. So as soon as two things come in connection with each other, so the mutually ch- interchange traces between them. So meaning class, Kapag may nangyaring krimen, there are uh, debris or there are there are things na naiwan talaga yan sa crime scene na pwedeng gamitin laban sa criminal or the uh, offender. So that is the law cards exchange uh, principle. So ulitin natin. So we have the laws and principles of forensic science. We have the law of individuality. So meaning no, th- no things in the universe are alike. Number two naman, law of progressive change. Ibig sabihin, Everything changes with the passage of time and nothing remains constant. And third, the Lockhart's exchange principle. Uh, as soon as the things uh, come in connection with each other, of course, yan yung tinatawag natin na Lockhart's uh, principle. Okay, so yeah. Then, of course, uh, number four, uh, number four, we have the uh, principle of comparison. Ibig sabihin, only the likes can be compared. Again, Principle of comparison, only the likes can be compared, of course, kung ano lang yung pagkakaparehas nila. So, yun ang dapat natin uh, uh, we come in connection. Okay, then of course, we have the law of probability. So, uh, pag sa ating law of probability, all identifications, whether is this uh, definite or indefinite, made consciously or unconsciously on the basis of probability. So, whatever, kung ano yung naiwan niya sa crime scene, whether conscious siya or unconscious, yan yung tinatawag natin na law of probability. Okay? So, pwede yan yung basis natin na probably siya yung uh, connected siya sa crime na nangyari. Okay? That is the uh, law of probability. Then, of course, we have the law of circumstantial facts. Ibig sabihin, facts cannot be wrong. They cannot lie. Not wholly absent, but men can do. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung mga circumstantial Uh, yung mga situation or mga circumstances, pwede yung uh, pagti, pagta, uh, na yun tawag natin sa in Filipino, pagta, tig, tagpi, tagpiin ba? Tama? Medyo mahina ako sa Filipino eh. Okay, so para of course class, so we can uh, come up to a conclusion. So loss of circumstantial facts ang tawag natin dyan. Okay? Then, uh, okay, dito tayo class. So pakibasa nga si, si Che muna, si Che. Uh, wala ba? Wala ba si Che? Nandyan ba? Or baka ano siya? Uh, how about... Sorry. Ay, sige, sige. Okay lang. Okay. Lang. Okay. okay. The most indispensable method of personal identification, a dactyloscopy, 
B, fingerprint. C, Bertillon system. D, DNA profiling. Okay, so the most indispensable method of personal identification. Ibig sabihin ng most indispensable class o yung term na indispensable. Uh, the result of that uh, personal identification is beyond question. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng uh, i-question. Since it is uh, indispensable, ibig sabihin, beyond question. Okay, what is your answer? Uh, is that ductiloscopy, uh, fingerprint, Bertillon system, or uh, DNA profiling, or that is DNA fingerprinting? Sige, what is your answer, class? I already discussed this one in the uh, CDI. So, most likely, makuha nyo na yung tamang sagot dito. Okay, bakit iba-iba yung sagot ninyo? May fingerprint, merong DNA profiling. O yan, nakalimutan nyo na? Okay, bakit? <laughs> okay, so yan, let's answer. Uh, pag na narinig nyo class or pag nakita ninyo yung term or yung, uh, okay, yung term na indispensable, ibig sabihin, uh, the result of that particular personal identification technique is beyond question. Ibig sabihin, you cannot question the result of that of that uh, system or that method. So uh, among the choices, uh, ang first natin, of course, ang pag sinabi natin fingerprint, of course, ductile uh, means finger, and scopy or scopian means uh, examination. That's why ang ductiloscopy that is uh, fingerprint examination class. Of course, ang Bertillian system, hindi natin siya pwedeng i, uh, uh, i, uh, isagot. Of course, that is uh, based on the body measurement ni uh, Alphonse Bertillon. Of course, uh, hindi natin yan. Of course, ang pwede natin pagpipilian dito, okay, between uh, ductiloscopy, fingerprint, and DNA profiling. Of course, ang sagot natin dyan, class, okay, the most indispensable. Okay, so mamaya ang sagot natin dyan, class, is the DNA profiling or the DNA fingerprinting. Okay, that is letter D. Okay, nagkamali lang yung paglagay ko ng, uh, ng underline. So that is letter D, class, ha? that is uh, what we call DNA profiling or DNA fingerprinting. Okay, nakuha. So explain natin to class bakit nagkamali kayo dito. So we have the three key sciences of personal identification based on science or that is uh, scientific. Of course, we have the uh, two tables here, the sciences and of course the methods class. So dapat alam nyo kung ang tanong niya is the science or method kasi mag-iba ang sagot niyo kapag science yan or method ang tinatanong sa board exam. Of course class, we have number one science is the anthropometry. Ang anthropometry, of course, that is uh, uh, postulated by Alphonse Bertillon, that is the first science of personal identification that is based on body measurement. So sinabi ni Alphonse Bertillon that the, uh, yung uh, katawan ng tao, okay, hindi yan nagbabago pagdating ng uh, 20 years, but of course, uh, nadibank yung credibility na yan. So tanda ninyo, class, the first science of personal identification that is anthropometry. Kapag tinanong naman, what, it, what is the first method of personal identification? Ang sagot niyo, that is Bertillon system. Okay, so nakuha. So uh, second naman, so sinabi di ba na ang first Bertillon na kapag uh, within 20 years, hindi nagbabago or yung, uh, yung bones or yung, uh, yung uh, katawan ng tao. But then again, nadibank yan yung credibility na yan. Of course, yung sa West case, yung sa dalawang negro, okay, na parehas. Okay, yung mukha, yung, uh, yung height, so lahat class. That's why nadibank ang credibility ng anthropometry system. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng dactyloscopy. Okay, ng dactyloscopy. Again, dactyl means finger. And scopy or scopian means examination. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng dactyloscopy. Of course, ang uh, father of dactyloscopy ay si Sir Edward Richard Henry. So kung tanda ninyo kung ang, uh, ang anthropometry, the first science of personal identification, Ang dactyloscopy naman, that is the most reliable science of personal identification. Again, that is the most reliable science of personal identification. Kapag ang question naman sa board exam, what is the most reliable method of personal identification? That's the time you will answer fingerprint. Nakuha? Then, of course, third, of course, na science natin. So we have the DNA or yung tinatawag natin ang deoxyribonucleic acid. Again, deoxyribonucleic acid or yung tinatawag natin na DNA. Of course, ang nag, ano niyan, ang nakadiscover niyan, of course, si Dr. Alec Chaffrace. So, tanda niyo kapag sa DNA, 
uh, it is considered as the most current science and the most indispensable science of personal identification. Kaya tinawag natin then the most indispensable science of personal identification because the result of the DNA is beyond question. You cannot question the result of the DNA since it is 100% accurate. So again, ang DNA that is the uh, the most current and the most indispensable science of personal identification since the result of the DNA is beyond question. Hindi mo pwedeng i-question ang result ng DNA. Kapag tinanong niya, the most current science or the, the most indispensable science, ang sagot niya dyan, that is DNA. Kapag tinanong niya naman, what is the most current and what is the most um what is the most current or what is the most indispensable method of personal identification that's the time you will answer dna profiling okay so no kaninyo okay class i will it it test nga natin kung nakuha niyo yung explanation ko okay so what is the most reliable method of personal identification again what is the most reliable method of personal identification sige sa comment section class uh, okay. Sige na natin yung ano natin. Okay, very good. Si Dan. Okay, so that is uh, Dan. Okay, Dan. Uh, fingerprint. Okay, very good. Fingerprint. Uh, very good class. Okay, how about naman, uh, kapag tinanong sa board exam, what is the most uh, indispensable and the most current science of personal identification? Again, what is the most indispensable or the most current science of personal identification? So what is your answer? Okay, so Jamaica. So that is, oh, ayan, bakit may sumagot ng DNA profiling? Of course, ang sagot natin dyan, the DNA lang. Okay, how about what is the most um, indispensable or the most current method of the personal identification. Again, what is the most current or what is the most indispensable uh, method of personal identification? Okay, so what is your answer? Okay, so very good class. That is uh, DNA profiling. Tandaan nyo class, ha? ang other term for DNA profiling that is also known as the DNA fingerprinting. Again, uh, DNA profiling or DNA fingerprinting that is uh, the other term for DNA profiling. Okay? So DNA profiling or DNA fingerprinting. How about, kapag tinanong sa board exam, uh, what is the first uh, science of personal identification? Again, what is the first science of personal identification? Okay, what is the first science of personal identification class? Sige. Okay, so yan. Of course, that is anthropometry. Very good. Okay, how about what is the first method of personal identification? Sorry. Again, what is the first method of personal identification class? Okay, very good. That is Bertillon system. Okay, the Bertillon system or Bertillon system. Okay, very good. So, yan. Okay, so very good class. Of course, pakibasa nga ulit. Si, um, ap, tapos na si Sheno, si, uh, si Dan. Dan, pakibasa yung three key sciences of personal identification natin para mas uh, maritain sa utak ninyo. Okay, Dan, go ahead. Wala si Dan? Uh, okay. Bakit to, hindi sumasagot si Dan? Okay. How about si ano? Ah, okay. Na, nasa CR pa. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about James? James, pakibasa muna James. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay. That, that, the three key sciences of personal identification or scientific sciences. One, Anthropometry, Alphonse Bertillon, or first, method, Bertillon system. Number two, dactyloscopy, uh, Henry, reliable, reliable, method, fingerprint. Three, 
Okay, DNA na lang para walang Acid, <laughs> current or indispensable method DNA profiling. Okay, so thank you. So again, so we have the three key sciences of personal identification based on uh, scientific, of course. Uh, the sciences, the anthropometric system, that is the first science of personal identification. The method used is the Bertillon system. The science is the actiloscopy that is the most reliable science. And the most reliable method is fingerprint. The most current or the most indispensable science is the DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid by Dr. Alec Jeffreys. And the DNA profiling is this the most current and indispensable uh, science of personal identification. So I hope it's clear already. Okay, so yeah. Nabulo lang dila niya. No? <laughs> kaya DNA, kaya safest na lang ang DNA. So please make sure class ha, na alam niyo yung spelling ng lahat ng sciences na yan. Kasi minsan sa board exam, uh, ano yan, DNA stands for hanapin mo yung tamang spelling doon from A to D. Okay? So dapat you are aware of the, the spelling. Okay, dito naman. Okay, sige. Pakibasa nga si, ano, uh, tapos na si Lawrence, no? Uh, how about si Hana? Hana, pakibasa. Nandiyan ba si Hana? Wala? Ah, uh, okay. Yes, sir. Andito po. Ay, sige. Go ahead. The first science of personal identification. Oh. A, DNA, B, fingerprint. C, anthropometry. D, bacterial system. Okay. Sige. What is the first science of personal identification that is connected with our previous uh, slide? Okay, so Yan, what is the first science of personal identification? Okay, so Yan, what is your answer? Anthropometry. Okay, of course, uh, the first science of personal identification that is anthropometry. Uh, of course, uh, the first uh, method, of course, that is the Bertillon system. Kapag tanong class sa choices kung sino yung uh, author, uh, yung uh, personality dyan under the uh, anthropometry. Kapag letter A, Bertillon, uh, then uh, letter B, Alphonse. Between uh, first name and last name, ang pipiliin yung class, the last name. Okay? So, para hindi kayo magkamali. So, that is the anthropometry uh, system. Okay. Of course, class, uh, we will uh, discuss, of course, ang subject natin for this afternoon is poly polygraphy. Of course, uh, kailangan ko lang insert yon para alam ninyo pagdating ng board exam kasi ito yun, yun yung pinaka-basic na nakakalimutan palagi minsan na ituro sa mga reviewees yung mag magta-take ng board exam. So, yan. So, ngayon, alam nyo na yung kaibahan ng methods and kaibahan ng sciences. Okay? Ligtas ang may alam. Okay. So, next. Of course, class, dito tayo sa matching type. Okay? Sa matching type tayo. Okay. Sige. Uh, ano natin na? Maghihintay ako ng, ng sagot ninyo sa sa gilid. Okay. Ay, uh, 1 to 10. Number your paper 1 to 10, class. Then after that, uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng ano siguro lang. 3 minutes to answer. Then after that, ma ano natin, i-explain ko one by one yung mga ano na yan. Okay, so magkakaroon tayo ng matching type. Okay? Dito sa ano, sa polygraphy kasi uh, para gagana yung utak talaga ninyo. Okay? Kasi kapag plain lecture lang, hindi yan siya gagana. Okay, pag sinabi natin Ayurveda, what is Ayurveda in polygraphy? Uh, si John Larson, sino si John Larson? Si Pulse, sino yung Pulse? Cesar Lombroso, sino si Cesar Lombroso, what is polygraphy, cardiospemograph, ordeal, galvanometer, ometer, and stimula. Of course, kasi iisahin na lang natin para mas ma-ano ninyo, mas masunda ninyo. Okay, pag sinabi natin number one, dito muna tayo sa Ayurveda, what is Ayurveda plus? Pumili kayo dito sa choices natin. Okay, what is Ayurveda? What is Ayurveda? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. No, Risay or Vida class. Sige. Uh, ilagay niyo sa comment section, B. Uh, uh, please. Uh, okay. What is I or Vida? Okay. That is very basic in the board exam. Okay, so what is Ayurveda? Ayurveda. Okay, so ang Ayurveda, so bakit detecting deception? Okay, may sumagot si Hana, sabi ni Hana, the Hindu book in lying. Okay, titingnan natin mamaya kung tama yung Hindu book in lying. Okay, how about naman pag sinabi natin si Charlie? Yeah, how about Jan Larson? Copy lang. Okay, sino naman si Jan Larson? Sino yung nagsasalita? Okay, by the way, copy lang. Ay, si Jong Jong. Nagsasalita si Jong Jong eh. <laughs> okay. How about si Jan Larson? Sino si Jan Larson, class? Sino si Jan Larson sa polygraphy? Piliin niyo sa choices. Was, uh, sino si Jan Larson? Hmm. Jan Larson, pakilagay sa comment section. Okay, sino si John Larson? Wala kayo yung review, Jong? Jong Jong? Nandiyan si Jong Jong eh. Okay, sino si John Larson, class? Sino si John Larson? Okay, tingnan natin. Si John Larson, sabi ni Hana, uh -huh, heartbeat o pulse rate. Okay, tingnan natin. Uh -huh. How about pag sinabi natin pulse? Okay, pulse. What is pulse? What is pulse, class? Bakit naghahang yung utak ninyo? <laughs> Kaya pa ba? Kaya? <laughs> ano pa lang? First pa lang itong na matching type, class. <laughs> Okay, what is pulse? What is pulse? Sige. Uh, hanapin niyo sa choices. Okay. Hanapin sa choices. Okay. Sabi ni uh, James, letter I, uh, heartbeat or pulse rate? Kay, ay, kay, sorry, uh, kay Ana pala yun. Kay James, letter L. Uh, wala lang, wala namang letter L. Ay, letter I siguro. Okay. How about yung uh, kay Cesar Lombroso? Sino naman si Cesar Lombroso, class? Sino naman si Cesar Lombroso? Sino si Cesar Lombroso? Ano naman ang gi-introduce ni Cesar Lombroso? Sige. Cesar Lombroso. Sino si Cesar Lombroso, class? Mm. Okay, si letter G. Sino letter G dyan? Red light detector. Tama ba? Mm. Okay, sige, tingnan na natin mamaya. How about polygraphy? Pag sinabi natin polygraphy, what is polygraphy? What is polygraphy? Letter J. Sabi nila, Hannah J., uh, detecting deception. Okay, maybe. Tama ba yun? Detecting deception. Okay, later ito natin na natin. How about cardiospemograph? Okay, how about cardiospemograph? Ano naman si cardio? Si cardiospemograph class. How about cardiospemograph? Cardio. Letter uh, hmm. heartbeat or pulse rate. Okay, How about our deal? How about our deal? Okay. How about our deal? What is our deal? What is our deal? Letter A. All this form of uh, all this form. Okay. How about galvanometer? How about galvanometer? Galvano. What is galvano class?
Hmm, what is galvano galvanometer? Uh, letter E. Mm -hmm. Hydro. Tama ba yan? Ba -ba. Marami kayong nagbaliktad na marami nang uh, bumaliktad na mga choices. How about omnimeter? Uh, Let number nine. What is your answer, class? Okay, so number nine. What is your answer? Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we have the stimuli. Number 10, what is stimuli? Uh, sabi ni Anna, letter D. What is letter D? Electro electrical resistance. And number 10, what is your answer? Number 10, what is stimuli? Oh, what is stimuli? Okay, so letter B, sabi ni Giselle, sensory receptor. Okay, let's explain this kung tama. I-check ninyo ha, kung ilan ang scores na nakuha ninyo para ma-check ninyo. Of course, uh, yan, let's uh, have this one. Okay, explain natin. Okay, pag sinabi natin number one, Ayurveda, of course, that is the, Hindu, uh, the first uh, Hindu book of lying. Of course, that is our first reference in lying. So that is uh, Ayurveda. Then uh, number two, so we have John Larson, that is the uh, bread lie detector. Okay, of course, siya yung nag-introduce uh, ng bread lie detector. Mamaya, explain ko what is bread lie detector. Of course, the pulse, that is arterial uh, palpation. So mamaya, uh, makikita nyo kung uh, saan yung mga pulse natin. Then, of course, si Cesar Lombroso, class, dito kayo nagkamali, that is the hydrospimograph. Uh, hydrospimograph ang na-introduce ni Cesar Lombroso. Then, of course, pag sinabi natin calligraphy, that is the science of detecting deception or lying. Okay? So, kung nagsasabi mo na totoo, hindi yung, yung uh, subject. Then, uh, we have the cardiospimograph from the word itself, cardiospimograph. Uh, that is the heartbeat or the pulse rate. While the, ordi the ordeal, that is the highest form. Okay? The, the highest form or the oldest uh, form pass kung... Uh, Nagsasabi ba ng totoo yung uh, subject or hindi? Then, of course, we have the galvanometer. Uh, galvan, of course, uh, para kung merong electrical resistance. Then, ang ometer naman, if there is an electrical current, then ang stimuli, that is the uh, sensory receptor, ang stimuli class or stimulus, yung, uh, ano siya, yung response na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, in the uh, polygraph test. Uh, ilang score na kuha ninyo? 1 to 10, kanina. Ilan ang score ninyo? 3 out of 10 patay. <laughs> Bakit 3 out of 10? Uh, saan, kayo, saan nyo, ano yun? Hindi nyo, hindi nyo ba ito na, ano, nadaanan? <laughs> okay, so yan. Marami pa akong, dito, marami pa akong ganito, class. Uh, Marirealize nyo mamaya at the end of this uh, lecture, at the end of this uh, class, eh, mamaya, ang dami nyo pang hindi alam pagdating sa sa lie detection. Okay? So, yan, Ayurveda, Jen Larson, Pulse, and so on. Hanggang sa stimuli. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, dito tayo, class. How about matching two? Dito tayo sa matching two. Okay, pag sinabi natin psychology, what is psychology? Okay, dito sa choices natin. What is psychology? Okay, so uh, hanapin nyo yung choices dito ha, sa baba. Okay, so sinabi ni uh, Hana, uh, mind. Okay, letter H daw. Sige, tingnan natin. Okay, letter H. Psychology. How about physiology? Okay, what is physiology? What is physiology? Okay, so what is physiology? Number your ano number your answer kung number 1 ba yan o so number 2 para para magpasa ako hindi ko maano. Okay, uh, letter G daw human body. Okay, so very good. Okay, human body. Fisho kasi is uh, katawan, di ba? Ba, logy means study. So how about rice chewing? What is rice chewing? What is rice chewing? Okay, number 3, what is rice chewing class?
Okay, what is rice chewing? What is your answer? Wala, walang, walang sagot? Okay, sana. Okay, letter E. Uh, sabi na Lawrence, uh, it is a method of ordeal. Okay? How about pag sinabi natin ordeal? What is ordeal? What is ordeal? Okay, so what is ordeal? What is ordeal? What is your answer sa comment section? What is ordeal? Okay, so I will read number four. Or dear, uh, trial. Sabi nila, trial. Okay, so nakukuha ninyo na yung concept, no? Okay, how about graph? Okay, number five, graph. What is graph? Okay, what is graph? Number five, what is graph? Okay, so again, uh, writing. Okay, maybe, tama, writing. How about poly? What is poly? What is poly? What is poly class? What is poly? Okay, so many. Okay, letter J. Uh, several or many. Okay, several or many. Okay, so yan. Ang gagaling ng student ko. Okay, how about uh, synchronous uh, motor? Okay, how about synchronous motor? What is synchronous motor? Mm -hmm. What is synchronous motor? What is number seven? What is your number seven? What is uh, letter F? Uh, what is letter F? Uh, run chart. Uh -huh. Run chart or speed. Tingnan natin mamaya kung tama yan. Okay, how about pag sinabi natin chart? What is chart class? What is chart? Okay, so what is chart? What is chart? Please answer sa comment. Ano yung chart natin? Okay, so... Letter D, uh, air pressure. Hmm? Uh, tingnan na natin. Okay, so tingnan natin yung ibang sagot. Tingnan air pressure daw. How about spigmo manometer? What is spigmo manometer? May ibang sumagot na ang chart, 100 feet. Pwede. Mm -hmm. How about spigmo manometer? What is spigmo manometer? What is spigmo? Bakit hindi siya masagot si Jong Jong? Uh, spigmo, that is uh, letter D, uh, 100 feet. Pwede, pwede ba? Okay, how about anesthetic drugs? Okay, ano naman yung anesthetic drugs? What is anesthetic? Loss of feelings. Okay, anesthetic, loss of feelings. Okay, pwedeng letter A. So, titingnan natin. Of course, class, walang ganitong ano, no? Ah, kakagaling lang daw ni Jong sa labas. Okay, so yan. Okay, so let's explain this kung tama. But please check your scores kung, magka ay, kung magkano, kung ilan ang nakuha niyong tamang sagot. Okay, of course, pag sinabi natin psychology, of course, uh, psycho or... Uh, the study of the human behavior or the mental process, that is psychology. Pag sinabi naman natin physiology, of course, uh, physio, that is the uh, physical body or the study of the human body. While ang rice chewing, it is uh, one of the methods of ordeal. Of course, di ba kapag iniluwa niya na uh, uh, babasa yung uh, tinatawag natin na rice, yung kinain niya, ibig sabihin, nagsisunong alin yan. Pero kapag dry, ibig sabihin daw, hindi siya nagsisinungaling. But of course, that is, uh, 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 since time, kumbaga matagal na yan. So that is a method of ordeal or the methods of ordeal. Then pag sinabi natin ordeal, of course, that is the trial, okay, or the oldest trial before na ginagamit. So of course, wala pa tayong justice system na sunasunod before. Then of course, we have the graph. 
it is the uh, writing. Pag sinabi natin poly, which means uh, many or several. Kaya kapag na-encounter niyo, polygraphy, that is literally means uh, many or several writing or writings. Then of course, we have the synchronous motor. Ang synchronous motor, if we're sabihin yan, to run a chord at its uh, maximum speed. That is synchronous motor, basically tuloy-tuloy. Then we have the chart. Of course, yung, uh, yung ginagamit natin na chart class in a polygraphy or in a polygraph test rather that is uh, approximately 100 feet. Then of course, the uh, speed manometer, so that is the air pressure. Then we have the anesthetic drugs. It has an effects of what they call the loss of feelings. Okay, So that is anesthetic drugs. Again, ulitin ko ang psychology that is uh, study of the mind or the mental process or the behavior. That kasi ang psychiatry naman, di ba, mental illness or mental disease. Ang um, physiology, uh, the human body, rice chewing, the methods, or it is one of the methods of ordeal. Ang um, ordeal, that is the trial or the order's trial. Ang um, graph, that is writing. Ang um, poly, that is several or many. So that's why literally ang polygraphy, uh, several or many writing. Ang synchronous motor, to run a chart, that is maximum speed. And chart naman, that is 100 feet. Ang speed mo manometer that is air pressure and anesthetic drugs, there is a uh, it has an effect of a loss of feelings. Okay, so wala kang maramdaman. Okay, na sakit or wala kang emotion. So that is the anesthetic drugs. Okay, so yan loss of feelings. Nakuha niyo? Na intindan? Okay, so di ba wala kayong na encounter na ganito ng presentation? No, that is only sa Cream Coach Plus. Okay, that is only sa Cream Coach Philippines. Kapag may na-encounter nyo na may gumagaya nito, sabihan nyo ako. Okay, joke na. Okay, so yan yung tanatawag natin na uh, uh, matching number two. Okay, so yan. Okay, of course, class, yung uh, polygraphy, pag-uusapan natin yung uh, some of the historical facts. But of course, uh, konti lang naman yung malabas yan or wala nga gumalabas ng history. Then the scientific methods of detecting deception, the kinds of lie, the, the polygraph machine, uh, the key or uh, major components of the polygraph machine, the kinds of questions, and the kinds of text. Okay? So, yan yung uh, um, tinatawag natin na coverage ng polygraphy na subject na to. Nakuha? Okay, let's proceed now on the next slide. Of course, that is our topic outline. Okay? So, that is uh, polygraphy. So, dito tayo plus. Okay, na question number one. Okay? Pakibasa nga. Si Jong na lang. Nandiyan na si Jong eh. Uh, available ka ba, Jong? To, to read? Yes. Yes, Awa sir. Wala kayong face to face? Wala, sir. Bukas pa. Ay, bukas pa. Okay, sige. Basahin. A polygraph popularly referred to as a lie detector measures and records several physiological indices such as blood, pressure, pulse, respiration, and skin conductively when the subject is asked and answer a series of questions. What is this major component of the polygraph machine that records the change in the breathing of the subject? A. Pneumograph B. Cardiospemograph C. Chemograph D. Galvanograph Okay, so ayan. So a polygraph, popularly referred to as a lie detector, measures and records several physiological indices such as blood pressure, pulse, respiration, and skin conductivity, while the subject is asked and answers a series of questions. So what is this major component of the polygraph machine that records the changes in breathing of the subject? Uh, letter A, pneumograph. Letter B, cardiospemograph. Letter C, chemograph. And letter D, galvanograph. Tanda nyo, class, ang tanong niya is the major component of the polygraph machine. Magkaiba ang um, components and major components of the polygraph machine class. So dito, ang, it is a major component of the polygraph machine that records the changes and breathing of the subject. Okay, what is your answer? Okay, the, uh, the polygraph machine or that uh, polygraph component that measures the breathing of the subject. So what is your answer, class?
Okay, so very good. Majority of you got the correct answer. So tanda nyo, class, pag sinabi nating uh, major component of the polygraph machine, ang tanda nyo lang na acronym dyan. Again, tandaan niyo lahat ng binabasa niyo lagyan nyo ng acronym para mas madali ninyong makuha ang tamang sagot. Of course, pag sinabi natin pneumograph, uh, ang uh, major components rather of polygraph machine that is PCG. Yung letter P that is pneumograph, yung letter C that is cardiospivograph, and of course, yung letter G that is galvanograph. So basically, class, hindi nyo pwedeng isagot or hindi nyo pwedeng um, isagot si chemograph kasi si chemograph, nabilongin siya sa components of the polygraph machine. So ang pagpipilihan nyo lang between the three, pneumograph, cardiospimograph, and galvanograph. So that's why ang sagot natin dyan, class, that is pneumograph. Okay, very good. That is pneumograph, that it measures the breathing. Uh, breathing, uh, breathing of a subject. That is letter A. PCG is the components. Okay, so yeah. So dito tayong tinatawag class na major or key components of the polygraph machine. Again, so we have the major or the key components of the polygraph machine whereas meron tayong ginagamit na acronym dyan na PCG. Again, PCG, Philippine Coast Guard. So meaning yung letter P that is the number one pneumograph it measures the uh, respiration or breathing. Again, ang pneumograph, okay, respiration or breathing. While number two, yung letter C class, that is cardiospimograph. Ang cardiospimograph, it measures the blood pressure and of course, the pulse, uh, the pulse beat or heart rate. Cardio, okay, blood pressure and pulse beat or heart rate. While ang tinatawag natin na galvanograph, of course, it measures the skin conductivity or the skin resistance. Again, ito yung tinatawag natin na major or key components of the polygraph machine. Again, ito yung major or key components of the polygraph machine. Ang acronym natin dyan is the PCG. Ang pneumograph, it measures the respiration or breathing. Ang cardiospimograph, it measures the blood pressure and the pulse beat or heart rate. And the galvano, uh, galvanograph naman, it measures the skin resistance or the skin conductivity natin na tawag natin. That is galvanograph. So, naintindihan nyo na? Uh, naintindihan nyo na sa ano? So, that is the major or the key components of the polygraph machine. Naintindihan? So, yan. Kung hindi nyo pa intindihan, okay. So, very good. So, yan. Then, of course, class, kung meron tayong major or key components of the polygraph machine, Meron natin tinatawag na components of polygraph machine. Tandaan nyo ha, magkaiba yung components sa major or the key components of the polygraph machine class. Kaya dapat hindi kayo basta-basta magsagot sa for exam, ah, ah, poly, ah, chemograph to. Okay? Pero bakit may sinagot si chemograph? Eh, hindi naman yan siya major or key components. Yung tatlo lang ang major or key components of the polygraph machine or the PCG. So sa components class of the polygraph machine, tanda nyo lang yung PCG-KP. Ibig sabihin, nandyan of course si, poly, si pneumograph, si cardiospimograph, and galvanograph. Then itadagdag nyo lang ngayon si letter K, which is chemograph. Si chemograph naman class, it serves as the, the paper uh, feed mechanism or it serves as a motor. Again, it serves as a paper pin mechanism or it serves as a motor. Siya yung uh, ano class, yung chemograph. While yung letter P naman na hinahanap natin dyan, that is the uh, pen and inking system. Yung pen and inking system na tanatawag natin class, it provides the permanent record of the test. Okay? So kung uh, yung, yung, uh, yung, uh, score, yung sheet na yun, okay, yan yung tanatawag natin na pen and inking system. It provides the permanent records of the test. Ulitin natin. Tanda ninyo, ang components, magkaiba yan sa major or key components. So, i-discuss ko ulit. Ang major or key components of the polygraph machine that is composed of PCG, that is pneumograph, the cardiospimograph, and galvanograph. Yung components naman ng polygraph machine that is PCG-KP. Ibig sabihin, Ilagay nyo dyan, of course, unang-una si Pneumo, Cardio, Galvano. Then itadagdag nyo si Chemograph. Ano yung trabaho ni Chemograph in the polygraph machine? It serve as the motor. Okay. Then ang pen and inking system, yun yung uh, pro it provides class and a permanent record of the test. Okay. So naalam nyo naman yan during your undergrad. 
Then of course, ngayon meron na tayong uh, digital no na polygraph machine. Uh, pwede mo nang i-print yung kanyang tracing. Okay? So yan yung tinatawag natin na pen and inking system. Okay? So naintindihan niyo yung uh, difference between components and major or key components of the polygraph machine. Nakuha na class? Nakuha na ninyo? Kasi kung hindi niyo naintindihan, ititigil na natin to. <laughs> okay. Uh, nakuha na? Okay. So yan. Uh, so very good. Okay. So next, uh, we have, of course, matching uh, number three. Okay. So watching, uh, we have the matching type number three. Okay. So what is uh, number one? John Reed. Sino si John Reed class? Okay. Sino si John Reed? Are you familiar with John Reed? Okay. Hindi kayo familiar? <laughs> Okay, how about si uh, James Mackenzie? Okay, uh, Leonard, Leonard Killer, Thomas Jefferson. Okay, dito na lang tayo, class. Since you are not familiar with this, uh, ano, uh, with this, uh, ano ito nito, personalities, so dito tayo sa number five. We will skip that one. Okay, so pag sinabi natin admission, class, what is admission? Ano yung tinatingnan natin pag sinabi natin admission? What is admission? Okay, admission. What is admission? That is uh, I. What is I? Okay, sabi nila facts. Okay, how about confession? Okay, how about confession? Confession, that is letter J. That is guilt. Okay, pwede. Okay, how about interview? What is interview class? Guilt. What is interview? Witness, how about interrogation? What is interrogation? What is interrogation sa suspect? Okay, how about facial? Okay, facial, what is facial? Okay, what is facial? Is that movement, expression, or what? What is facial? Expression. Okay, how about postural? Posture. Okay, letter E. That is uh, muscular movement. Okay, so ayan. Okay, so let's explain this one by one class. Okay, so dito tayo. Okay, of course, uh, number one, we have uh, si John Reed. Okay, pag uh, na-remember nyo or ka na-encounter nyo si John Reed, of course, that is the muscular movement naman ang kanyang uh, dinevelop or na-introduce sa atin. Si James Mackenzie naman, yung ink polygraph naman, yung kanyang uh, uh, gi-author, yan yung na-introduce niya in the polygraphy or line detection. Then we have si Leonard Killer, that is of course from the word killer, of course chemograph. Okay, that's why it was credited before him, yung chemograph machine or yung serve as the motor. Then si Thomas Jefferson naman, uh, he used the word uh, polygraph. So sa kanya nang galing class, yung polygraph na word. Then, of course, we have the admission, the, the statement or acknowledgement of facts. Confession naman, that is the acknowledgement or statement of guilt. Then, of course, we have the interview. Of course, it talks about, again, class, sa victim lang yan or sa witness. Kaya do not be confused, ha? Kasi marami na confused. How about, sir, yung hostile witness or yung mga uncooperative witness? Still, class, witness pa rin yan sila, but they are not cooperative. Okay? So, yun, class, huwag kayong maano doon. Huwag kayong ma-confuse between the hostile witness and other witness. Di ba nakalagay doon yung na-post ko that the following are the types of witness and the proper way how to interview them. So still class, ang interview that is only applicable sa witness or the victim of the crime. So huwag maipilit na ang interview ginagamit rin sa suspect. Okay? Kasi of course, mga nganib yung buhay mo dyan pagdating sa board exam. Then, ang sinabi natin interrogation, that is the uh, suspect, of course, the uh, POI. Okay? Basta class na encounter nyo, suspect or the persons of interest, ang gagamitin natin dyan is interrogation. Okay? Nakuha niyo interrogation. To extract, of course, uh, data or facts or uh, information. Then, of course, facial expression. Then the postural, of course, the movement. Okay, the movement of the body. So na magagamit class kung uh, nagsasabi man ng totoo or hindi yung ating uh, subject. Again, pag sinabi natin uh, genre, muscular movement. 
si James McKenzie, Ink Polygraph, Leonard Killer, Chemograph Machine, Thomas Jefferson, he used the word polygraph, admission, statement, acknowledgement of facts or statement of guilt, confession, guilt, interview for witness, interrogation for suspect or persons of interest, facial eman, expression, and postural, that is the movement. Ang reluctant witness, still interview pa rin class. Kasi nga, witness pa rin yan siya. But of course, yung, uh, yung way ng pag-interview natin, iba-iba. Okay? So yan yung tinatawag natin na interview. Okay? So don't be confused. Ha? Dapat be specific in answering board exam. Madali lang yung mga board exam class. Madali lang yan. Chicken. Di ba? Well, ang dali, uh, basta uh, focus na focus ka kung ano yung tinuro sa inyo at ano yung pinaka-basic dyan. Okay. So, of course, class, pag sinabi natin polygraphy, it is the scientific methods of detecting deception. So, of course, with the aid of polygraph machine. Of course, paano natin malalaman that a person is uh, telling the truth or telling the lies? Okay, of course, through the uh, polygraph test or the, uh, with the use of polygraph machine. Uh, originally, class, yung polygraph machine or it is a medical instrument, okay? It's a medical instrument or medical field pa yan ginagamit used by the medical doctors uh, before na tinatawag natin na unigraph, okay? Dati class, ang pinagmulan ng polygraph machine is tinatawag natin na unigraph. It is a uh, medical instrument, okay? So medical instrument. Yung uh, word na polygraph class, magkaiba yan sa tinatawag natin na polygraphy. Okay, ang uh, polygraph, it is derived from the Greek word uh, poly, which means uh, many or several. And of course, graph, which means uh, writing or it is a chart. So basically, ang um, polygraph, it is literally defined as many writing or several writing. So pag sinabi natin polygraph, it is also a scientific instrument capable of recording simultaneous changes, ibig sabihin, sabay-sabay, on the blood pressure, pulse rate, okay, uh, and skin resistance. Of course, that is the polygraph. Okay, so yan. So again, pag sanabi natin po yung polygraphy, that is the scientific methods of detecting deception with the aid of the polygraph machine. While the polygraph, it is the scientific instrument that is capable of recording simultaneous changes in blood pressure, pulse rate, and of course, the skin resistance. Okay, yan yung kaibahan ni polygraphy kay polygraph. Okay, so yan guys. Then, of course, we have the polygraph test. Ang polygraph test, it is the test using an instrument to determine if the person is telling the truth or lie with the use of the lie detector. Okay, so or the polygraph machine. So yan yung test proper class to determine if the particular person is telling the truth or telling the lie. So that is a polygraph machine. Okay, then of course yung polygraph class, it is applied psychophysiology of lying. Tinatawag natin na it is a psychophysiology of lying kasi it is the combination of two. The psychology and of course the physiology. So pag sinabi natin psychology, di ba class, that is the uh, science of mind and behavior. While ang physiology, that is the science of human body. So that's why Ang uh, po polygraph, it is the uh, psychophysiology of lying. Kasi ang psychophysiology class, tinatawag natin yan, the combination of the psychology and the combina and the, the physiology. So meaning, it is the science of the effect of the mind in the body. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng psychophysiology. Nakuha niyo? Ulitin natin. Ang polygraph test, it is the test using an instrument to determine if the person is telling the truth or telling the lie. That's why with the use or with the aid of lie detector. While ang polygraph, it is a applied psychophysiology of lying. So meaning, it is a combination of two. Psychology is the science of mind and behavior. Physiology is the science of human body. So that's why nakabuo tayo ng psychophysiology of lying, which means the uh, science of the effect of the mind in the body. Okay? So that is the psychophysiology of lying. Okay. So tanda ninyo class, yung psychophysical detection of deception, yan yung tanatawag natin na polygraph test. Okay class, ha? Kung you are not, if you are not familiar with this, okay, ang psycho, uh, de uh, psychophysical detection of polygraph test, that is the PDD na ginagamit natin, Okay, so that is uh, what we call the um, 
the uh, PDD or the psychophysical detection of the de deception. Okay, so or the PDD. Okay, so the psychophysical detection of deception or the PDD. Then, of course, class, we have the uh, polygraph examiner or the uh, forensic psychophysiologist. Tanda nyo ha, ang uh, polygraph machine, ay ang uh, polygraph test task, tinatawag natin yan na psychophysical detection of deception or the PDD. Siguro alam nyo lang polygraph test. Tama ba ako? Tama ba ako, class? <laughs> Siguro ang alam nyo lang polygraph test. Okay? Ang tawag ganyan, class, is the psychophysical detection of deception or the PDD. Okay? Nakuha ba? Then, of course, ang, uh, ang expert natin, class, hindi lang natin yan tinatawag na polygraph examiner or uh, polygraph test examiner. Tinatawag rin natin, class, aside sa polygraph examiner, tinatawag rin natin sila na polygraph or the forensic psychophysiologist. Okay? Again, the forensic psychophysiologist. Okay? So, that's why it is the psychophysical detection of deception or the PDD. Ang tawag natin sa polygraph test, ang expert class na gumagawa kung, si, kung nagsasabi pa siya ng totoo hindi is the polygraph examiner or that is also known as the forensic psychophysiologist or the FP. Okay. Um, natuwa, ano, alam niyo ba ito class, yung forensic psychophysiologist or ba, bago lang? Or ngayon nyo lang nalaman to yung forensic psychophysiologist. Alam niyo ba to Bakit mo lang sumasagot? Oh, no, sir. Uh, no? Bakit? Pag, uh, ngayon lang? Okay, so medyo may ano yan, medyo kabahan kayo. <laughs> okay, so bago lang. So yan. Again, class, ang tawag natin dyan is forensic psychophysiologist. Okay, so yan. The polygraph examiner or the forensic psychophysiologist. Mag mag magtatanong ako mamaya ah, sa ano sa may uh, ano ko da kung ano niyo yan okay that is the the again class ah, ang tawag natin sa polygraph test hindi lang natin yan tinatawag na polygraph test baka pagdating sa board exam hindi niyo ito isasagot kasi hindi hindi na, naturo sa inyo or hindi niyo nadaanan ang tawag natin sa polygraph test class is the psychophysical detection of deception again the psychophysical detection of deception or the PDD. While the polygraph examiner, tinatawag natin na the forensic psychophysiologist or the FP. Okay, nakuha? The psycho, the forensic psychophysiologist. Okay, so yan. Okay, dito tayo class. Uh, dito tayo mag-end. Uh, hindi na lecture. Uh, okay lang, importante na laman ninyo sa akin. Okay. So ayan, so mag-end tayo class ng 3 PM ah kasi ano, then mamayang gabi meron tayong klase. Magklase pa rin tayo mamayang gabi. Uh, ano siguro mga 6:30 or 7 PM magkaklase tayo para maubos natin ang polygraph. Okay, dito i uh, sasabihin natin. Okay? So under the Fry standard in contrast to the Burt standard, the polygraph test admissibility is dependent on the reliability and credibility of the examiner who conducted the polygraph test. Again, so under the Fry standard, in contrast to the DeBert standard na tinatawag natin, the uh, admissibility of, is dependent on the reliability and credibility of the examiner who conducted the polygraph test. Okay, is that yes, no, sometimes, or it depends? What is your answer, class? I already discussed this one. Uh, nagkaroon ako ng ano dito, di ba? ng ratio about this Fry standard and the Bird standard. Kasi minsan nakakalimutan na rin ito i-explain yung, uh, yung jurisprudence in polyg polygraphy. Paborito-paborito yan sa boring sa... What is your answer? Okay. So, of course, class, hindi nyo pwedeng isagot dyan. Si sometimes... Hindi nyo rin pwedeng isa po si it depends. So, dalawa lang yung pagpipilian ninyo whether yes or no. Of course, ang sagot natin yan, that is uh, no. Okay? That is letter B, no. Kasi dito tayo. So, we have the, uh, the different uh, uh, jurisprudence class na i-explain natin mamaya. Okay? So, dito. Of course, si Thomas Jefferson class, siya yung first man to use the word polygraph in 1801 to 1809. 
So the machine is called polygraph is a copying device. Para ano na siya class? Parang Xerox copier. Okay, yon yung uh, yon yung uh, uh, ano ni uh, Thomas Jefferson. Okay, Jefferson rather, sorry. Okay, ito yung mga jurisprudence class. Okay, it is the most important jurisprudence na may encounter or na dapat ninyong malaman before you will take the board exam. Of course, we have the United States versus Kepper. Yung sa United States versus Kepper class, ang argument dito, it is the first case in the Supreme Court, of course, sa uh, America, that has issued a ruling with regard to the highly controversial lie detector test or it is included as evidence. So ang United uh, States versus Kepper, ang argument dyan class ng United States of America Supreme Court kung tatanggapin ba ang um, ang tinatawag natin na uh, detector test or lie detector test result as an evidence. Yung hanggang doon lang. Okay, tatanggapin ba ang lie detector test as evidence in court? Yan yung sinabi ng Supreme Court in America. So that is the United States versus Kepper. Of course, that is in regards to the highly controversial lie detector test. Okay, yan yung pinaka-first. Ang second naman, of course, ito yung tinatawag natin na the Fry Standard. Okay, tandaan nyo ha, ito yung Fry Standard. Tinatawag din natin yan na Fry Test or the General Acceptance Test or the GAT. Again, ang, ang Fry Standard, tinatawag din natin yan na Fry Test or the General Acceptance Test. Of course, hindi ito na-explain na sa inyo. Uh, na-explain ba ito sa inyo? Hindi. Uh, okay. Ano, um, kumbaga, ano yun? Uh, Na-explain na ba sa inyo? Hindi, class? Wala, no? Uh, wala ba? Hindi siguro. So, uh, uh, of course, alam nyo na ngayon. So, yan, yung Fry Standard. Kasi uh, pag sinabi natin Fry Standard, class, tandaan nyo lang yung term na FASE. Okay? Ito yung FASE o ito yung acronym natin. So, meaning, yung letter F that stands for uh, uh, Fry Standard, yung A naman, Admissibility, Yung S naman, that is the scientific evidence, yung SE. Okay, that is, that's why we have the scientific evidence. So, ang Fry standard, the Fry test, or the general acceptance test, ang question naman niya ng Supreme Court or the U.S. Supreme Court is to determine the admissibility of the scientific evidence. Yung scientific evidence class, ang tinutukoy dyan is the polygraph test. Nako nyo? Ang sa Fry standard or Fry test or general acceptance test, tinitingnan dyan kung... Um, tatanggapin ba na evidence yung tinatawag natin na polygraph test? Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng fase. Okay? So yan yung uh, Fry Standard, Fry Test, or General Acceptance Test. So tanda nyo lang yung fase ha. Fry Standard, ang question doon, admissibility of the scientific evidence. Tatanggapin ba ang polygraph test uh, as a uh, as an evidence in court? Okay? So yan yung Fry Standard. Then, of course, ang pinakalas natin dyan, we have the uh, the birth standard ang um, the birth standard class uh, it is uh, regarding the admissibility of the expert witness or testimony kaya meron tayong tinatawag na fase diet okay yung fase okay that is yung scientific evidence or tatanggapin ba yung uh, scientific evidence na yun or yung polygraph test as an evidence in court while ang the birth standard class ang uh, question dito is the expert testimony Tatanggapin lamang or tatanggapin lang yung tinatawag natin na polygraph test result kapag magbabasi ang korte on the credibility or reliability of the expert witness. Or ibig sabihin, yung nag-conduct na expert ng polygraph test. Again, sinabi ng Gobert Standard, tatanggapin niya lang. Okay? Tatanggapin lang yung uh, tinatawag natin na polygraph test result or polygraph test kung sino or naka-base class sa expert witness or yung sa expert na magsasagawa or mag-create or sorry magkakandak ng tinatawag natin na uh, okay na polygraph test examination so again ulitin natin ang fry standard ang question ng doon titingnan okay so uh, ang question doon whether or not the uh, scientific evidence or the polygraph test uh, test result will be accepted as evidence or not. Yun na yung question doon. While ang the word standard naman class, ang question dito, tatanggapin lamang ng call ng uh, Supreme Court, okay, ng US Supreme Court, ang uh, tinatawag na din na polygraph test kapag, okay, nagbe-base sa tinatawag na din na expert testimony. Okay? Ibig sabihin, 
Depende sa credibility, masyado bang magaling or magaling ba yung nag-conduct ng polygraph test na yan. Okay, based ba sa educational background niya, ang galing niya. So that's the time, tatawagin natin or okay, matatanggap or mag, uh, magkakaroon ngayon ng uh, debate or baka pwedeng tanggapin ng tinatawag natin na uh, expert or ng Supreme Court. Okay, so the fuzzy diet. So dito tayo mag-end class sa deception versus lying. Tandaan nyo class, ang deception, of course, that is panliling lang and through uh, falsehood or it is the act of lying. Tandaan nyo, ah, ang deception, it is the act of lying. So meaning, tricking someone. Halimbawa, when you tell someone you are 30, when really you are 40. So that is deception. Panliling lang and through falsehood or it is an act of lying. Pag sinabi naman nating uh, lying, it is a form of deception. Parang vice versa lang yung dalawa na to. Okay, ang lying, it is a form of deception. But take note, not all forms of deception are lies. Lying is giving some information while believing is to be untrue, intending to deceive by doing so. Again, ang deception, it is an act of lying. Why lying? That is the form of deception. Okay, so yan lang class. Okay, so ayan. So ba, uh, i-end muna natin to on our part 2 mamaya class. Um, Magsisend na ako ng uh, bagong link sa ating uh, GC. And of course, yung recorded lecture natin sa Telegram na to. Okay, so para mas uh, ulitin nyo to class ha, yung discussion natin ngayon para ma-perfect ninyo ang polygraph, uh, polygraph uh, na subject. Mamaya meron pa tayong part 2 para matapos natin ang ating discussion sa lie detection. So within this week, matapos na natin yung review. Okay, so then of course, um, Q&A na lang every day.